Here's what's most interesting, most fascinating about this conversation. It's the most important basketball conversation you'll see on TV today. The Lakers shady, they're led by LeBron. Mm -hmm. What matters when it comes down to LeBron James, James Jones is winning championships. Yeah, yeah. But without LeBron, yeah. without him, yesterday, you went into the two seats house, Milwaukee, on the front end of a back-to-back. -back. Yeah. Family, this is a mail-in game. Especially in the first quarter, you down by 19. So, mail it in. Yeah. Like, hey, let's, let's just win tomorrow night in Memphis. Mm -hmm. Mail it in. But down by 19, without LeBron, they came back in the first quarter. Yeah. Then you get down by 19 again in the fourth quarter. No LeBron. Mail it in. You on the front end of a double-double. Mm. They didn't. They showed grit, showed toughness, showed heart, showed championship determination. Yeah. So the only question worth asking today is this. Did the Lakers take a championship step in their win without LeBron? No. Oh, And ooh. the only reason why I say no is because I don't see them winning the championship with Bron Bron. I don't think this team is built this year to win a championship. I don't see them going through the Nuggets. I don't see them going through, through the Thunder or the Timberwolves. I don't. I don't see them going through the Clippers. I, I don't. But what this did show is Bron is older, right? We mm -hmm. all can say that. Not, yeah. say, not saying he's slowing down, but... Watching what the Lakers did last night, at least as a coach, you can say, okay, I can steal some minutes for Bron. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or maybe or maybe even as down on this stretch, however many games is left, I can steal some games for Bron to make sure he's rested up to go into this play-in tournament. Because at the end of the day, they're going in the play-in tournament, right? Which lets you know, they ain't really been a good basketball team all year long. I mean, four-game win streak, and this is the biggest win streak of the whole season, they're not really a consistent basketball team. But what this did show is, is Bron could sit a little bit, yeah. and we have our star like Anthony Davis, that when the game goes through him, Anthony Davis delivers. It always seems every time LeBron is out, AD delivers. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a mental thing. I don't know what it may be. But every time LeBron is out, AD delivers for this basketball team on both ends of the court. So it did show that we, we are able to get this thing done without LeBron and play at a high level. But winning a championship? Nah. Nah. That's a lot. They're not going through the Nuggets. But no, I will say this, though. I, I love what I seen yesterday, right? And <laughs> your, your, your main pilot's not there, and you still could go out there and... Fly? <laughs> oh, no. You still gonna yeah, float, you know what I'm saying? Do. You can still fly, float to it, though? Fly. Everybody can't, everybody can't <laughs> land that thing. But they floated <laughs> and they landed. Yeah. I seen Austin Reeves, he made some big buckets. The yeah, last three yeah, ball yeah. put him away. Yep. D-Lo, everybody's like up and down. But he's been up a lot lately. LeBron's out there, we need points. What do you do? You score, you hold it down. And then the last part you just talked about it, James Jones, is Anthony Davis. Mm -hmm. I guess the Greek freak, I don't know. What'd he do? He held it down. Held it down. He played big in the post. He scored, he got rebounds, and he played great, great defense. So, I'll say this. I don't think the Lakers could, could beat the Nuggets, but I will say this. I've seen the Lakers do this before. Mm -hmm. Last year, same situation. Mm -hmm. When they had to have it, they got yeah. it. They got better and better as the year went on yeah. from the play-in all the way to the Western Conference Finals. And I do think that the Lakers can do the same thing again. Mm. Well said, well said. Y'all right. remember there was, a, there was that trend on TikTok a while back. I don't know for those that use it, you view at home. It was about girl math. Mm. Sometimes the math, it didn't necessarily add up, but it was girl math. I have Laker math because, right. Shady, I had been doing bad math. Back in the day, 2019-2020, when the Lakers won the championship, this is a fascinating statistic. Mm. If LeBron and AD combined for 55 points, look at the top column only right now. The Lakers were 20-4. and four. 60 plus points, LeBron and AD, the Lakers were 13 and 1. But fast forward four years, that does not hold true anymore. What LeBron and AD do not matter is, do, what they do does not matter as much. Look at the second column. When they combine for 55, Shady McCoy, James Jones, viewer at home, 10 and 7. You combine for 60 plus, still strong, 7 and 2. What's most important in my eyes right now is the third column. Shady McCoy, James Jones, viewer at home. It's about D-Lo. That's it. It's about Reed. That's it. It's about Achimura. Yes, it is. Because now when they combine for 55 plus, Lakers are 10 and 4. Mm -hmm. 60 plus, Lakers are 6 and 1. The old math said LeBron, AD, LeBron, AD, LeBron, AD. You can guarantee the Lakers win if LeBron and AD give you 55 plus, just mm -hmm. about. That doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. The new age of the Western Conference based on the competitiveness is not about LeBron and AD. Family, it's about the third column. What are D'Lo doing? What's Sachimura doing? What's Reeves doing? And last night, those three went crazy. They did That's crazy. why I think the Lakers have taken more of a championship step, because it's about the other three to me than it is about LeBron and AD. And they just have to do that consistently. Because we mm. all know the way LeBron plays the game of basketball, LeBron is the all-time leading scorer in this game. For a reason. And we all can sit up here and say LeBron is pass first, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. So with LeBron playing the game that way, trying to get these dudes involved, if they can deliver, 
Because that is the problem. Whenever those dudes do play well, they are a really good basketball team. But those dudes are up and down. We don't know when we're going to find D'Lo sometime. Yeah. Right? Through, through, through the course of a game, through the course of a, maybe a five game. We don't know what D'Lo we're going to get. If you can get that from D'Lo and these other guys that are coming off the bench, Austin Reeves, if you can get that from them, this is a really good basketball team, and they will have a chance to get out the play in and at least get back to where they were last and year. And this was good for me to see Austin Reeves because last year I was going crazy about him. Oh, my God, celebrating. He's so good. He's this and a third. He's a missing piece they need, especially from the scoring um, standpoint. But then this year, I didn't see it, right? And I'll ask all my um, expert basketball players, Paul Pierce, um, 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 KG, all these guys, right? I said, what's the difference from last year to this year with Austin Reeves? You know what they said? He's on a scouting report now. Mm. He ain't just a nobody now. He's yeah. somebody, right? Right? They, that's what they said. Jim Jackson, I asked him the same thing. Yeah. So now... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Break down what that means. Every now and then, so, remember, yeah, you yeah. start talking. You said the scouting report. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's that mean for the viewer at home on a, on, in actuality? So there's players where, where LeBron James, AD, they're going to tell you, hey, let's make Le LeBron, uh, um, he's older, let's tire him out. Let's do this and that. AD, let's be physical with him. Like He can rebound, he can do this, he can do that. You have the drawings of what they do good, what they do That's bad. It. That's it. The, the, the players, the, the, the younger players, the players not as good, it's not as known. They ain't on there. You kind of, hey, man, you guard him. You guard 12. You guard 15. Now, that. right, Austin Reese, he's not LeBron James, but he's that type of player now where everybody knows who he is. Hey, Austin Reese, watch out for him. He does this good. He does this, he does this bad. Mm -hmm. We want to get a matchup for him. Maybe one of our good defenders, we're going to guard him. Things like that. So now when I watch the Lakers, the games where LeBron's not playing, Austin Reeves is showing up. And that's good to see because they're going to need him late in the year. Mm -hmm. All the things we talk about, with the, if it's the Nuggets, if it's the Mavs, if it's the Celtics, they got their star uh, players that are really, really good. It be the role players that really carry them to another wow. level. That's how you win the championship. Right? So we talk about Jokic. We yeah. talk about Murray. But there's other guys on that team, them, 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 them role players yeah. that Michael ball Porter out. Michael Porter Jr., Carl so, Pope, right. Aaron so, Gordon. So my thing my is, goodness. seeing a guy like Austin Reeves, a role player, right, playing a big role like that, being a star, that's what they need to win these big Let games. Let me ask you all in closing, is there any way that the Lakers can beat the Nuggets? Hey, let's not get too crazy <laughs> now, Nacho. We gave him a lot of credit. <laughs> Don't get too... Let's just leave out with LeBron didn't play. They played well. They got to win against the Bucks. Leave out positive, family. Go. Let's leave out Talk positive. Nuggets. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.